top 10 places to visit in New Zealand. Our goal is to bring you some of the most amazing travel destinations and tips as you adventure around the globe. So do subscribe to our channel and turn on that bell icon to add amazing new places to your travel bucket list. Without any further delay, let's get started. Number 10, Abel Tasman National Park. The vast expanse of Abel Tasman National Park is a dream come true for hikers. Wilderness with weathered rock formations is the background of this national park. The Tasman Coast Trail is the icing on the cake. Clear beaches and sparkling water attract tourists from everywhere. Snorkeling, hiking, trekking, camping or relaxing, there are many options no matter what your tastes are. And the sightings of rare birds, such as blue penguins, wakers, wooden pigeons, and oyster catchers can make a photographer's day. Ritz Factor, home base to famous fjords and striking beauty. Don't miss famous fjords of Milford Sound, Dusky Sound, and Doubtful Sound. How to reach by air. Queenstown Airport is the closest you can get to Fjordland National Park by air. Located at a distance of 235 kilometers from Queenstown, the national park can be reached by taking a bus or driving in to Tiano, also known as the gateway to the park. By road. State highway buses ply from Invercargill or Queenstown. The 156 kilometer distance from Invercargill to Fjordland National Park takes around three hours by road. Best time to visit, any time throughout the year. Stay options, Fjordland National Park Lodge, Aden Motel, Distinction Luxmore Hotel Tianu, and Mintaro Hut. Number nine, Fox and Franz Joseph Glaciers. The Franz Josef and Fox glaciers are one of the most accessible glacial rivers in the world, making them one of the best tourist attractions in New Zealand. The frozen landscapes of the ice caves and the mountain peaks at the foot of the glacier are the norm. Walk over or ride a helicopter, do whatever you want to do, but don't miss out on these wonderful natural wonders. Ritz Factor world's most accessible glaciers and best frozen sceneries. Don't miss. Guided hikes to these glaciers are an experience which you should not miss. How to reach. By air, Christchurch, 5.5 hour drive, and Queenstown, five hour drive, are the nearest and most accessible international airports from Franz Josef Glacier. By road. Buses and cabs are available from Christchurch, Wanaka and Queenstown to Franz Josef and Fox Glaciers. Drive down to the place to experience a surreal driving experience. Best time to visit, June through to August. Stay options, Aspen Court Franz Josef, YHA Franz Josef Glacier, Alpine Glacier Motel and Franz Josef Oasis. Number eight, Fjordland National Park. Home to some of the best hiking trails, Fjordland National Park boasts spectacular beauty. Whispering waterfalls, offshore islands, stretched lakes, undisturbed forests, high mountain peaks, and gushing waterfalls. Make sure you don't have a dull moment here. The popular ways to explore the fjords are by sea kayaking or bird's eye flights to enjoy this must-see place in New Zealand. Ritz Factor. Home base to famous fjords and striking beauty. Don't miss famous fjords of Milford Sound, Dusky Sound, and Doubtful Sound. How to reach. By air. Queenstown Airport is the closest you can get to Fjordland National Park by air. Located at a distance of 235 kilometers from Queenstown, the national park can be reached by taking a bus or driving in to Tianu, also known as the gateway to the park. By road. State highway buses leave from Invercargill or Queenstown. The 156 kilometer distance from Invercargill to Fiordland National Park takes around three hours by road. Best time to visit anytime throughout the year. Stay options. Fiordland National Park Lodge, Aden Motel, Distinction Luxmore Hotel Tianu, and Mintaro Hut. Number seven. Queenstown. The country's adventure capital, Queenstown, is one of New Zealand's top tourist destinations. Bungee jumping, whitewater rafting, jet boating, rock climbing, paragliding, hiking, downhill skiing, mountain biking, 
The list of adrenaline-fueled sports is endless at this top tourist attraction in New Zealand. Ritz Factor, loads and loads of adventure sports. Don't miss, explore gold mining towns and landscapes of snow-clad peaks of remarkable range. How to reach, by air, Queenstown International Airport on the South Island is well connected with other major cities across the globe. By road, intercity buses from Christchurch, 354 kilometers, and Auckland, 1,028 kilometers, commute to Queenstown at regular intervals. Drive down to the city to enjoy one of the most scenic drives in New Zealand. Best time to visit, June to August. Stay options. The Reese Hotel and Luxury Apartments, Heritage Queenstown, Coronation Lodge, and Adventure Queenstown Hostel. Number six, Coromandel Peninsula. The Coromandel Peninsula is one of the best places to visit in the north of New Zealand. A sublime world away from the hustle and bustle of the city, the Coromandel Peninsula is a paradise for complacent people who seek peace around them. The beaches are famous for their golden sand. Enjoy hiking, kayaking, and skydiving at this tourist attraction in New Zealand. Ritz Factor, a surreal world away from the hustle and bustle. Don't miss Thames, a small city famous for its gold mining history and the hot water beach where you can dig your own hot water pool. How to reach, by road. The scenic drive from Auckland, Hamilton or Rotorua Airport is very well connected by intercity buses and cars. The drive from Auckland takes roughly one and a half hours. By ferry. Regular ferries operate from Auckland to Coromandel Town. The two hour ride is one of the most exciting things to do in the Northern Island region. Best time to visit, September through to November. Stay options. Anchor Lodge Coromandel, Aotearoa Lodge, and beachside resort Fitiana. By air, Auckland Airport is the closest you can get to Coromandel Peninsula by air. Local flights take 30 minutes to reach Fitiana, Coromandel Peninsula from Auckland. Number five, Auckland. Two shimmering ports, the Manakau Harbour and the Waitemata Harbour are the main jewels of the crown of Auckland. Rainforests, wild hiking trails, hidden coves, picturesque islands and mysterious volcanoes make this city the perfect base for adventure lovers. Unusual black and gold beaches set the scene for stunning photos and memories. It's quite popular among the top tourist spots in New Zealand. Ritz Factor, black sand beaches, gold sand beaches and two sparkling harbours. Don't miss Sky Tower. The 328 metre high tower to zoom in on the stunning expanse. Also, don't even think about missing the Orbit revolving restaurant. How to reach. By air. One of the major cities in the North Island, Auckland is well connected with major international cities around the world. Auckland is well connected with most of the cities in New Zealand by road. Best time to visit, June through to September. Stay options. Sky City Grand. Off-Broadway Motel, Walkworth Lodge, and Park Lane Motor Lodge. Number four, Napier in Hawke's Bay. Gourmet food and Art Deco. These two things define the Napier region as one of the best places to visit in New Zealand to get a glimpse of the Maori world. The Spanish mission architecture style and Art Deco design buildings line this city. Some of them are decorated with Maori motifs. There are also gourmet restaurants in this place to die for. Unique procedures and equally unique recipes make regular dishes worth the effort. Ritz Factor. Gourmet dining scenes and Art Deco architecture. Don't miss yearly Art Deco weekend in February. Also, the Gannett Colony at Cape Kidnappers is a must visit among the famous New Zealand tourist attractions. How to reach. By air. Napier Hawke's Bay Airport is almost 450 kilometers from Auckland Airport, the international airport well connected with major airports across the world. Napier Hawke's Bay can be reached by local flights from Air New Zealand. By road, overnight intercity buses operate from Auckland to Napier and take six to eight hours on average. Best time to visit, July through to August. Stay options, the Country Hotel Napier, the Crown Hotel Napier, Art Deco Masonic Hotel and Scenic Hotel Tapania. Number three, Rotorua. 
Rotorua is one of those geothermal regions in the world that has a bit of dramatic topography. It's located in the Pacific Ring of Fire. Dramatic, isn't it? Steaming geysers, boiling mud pools, hissing thermal springs, and volcanic craters add to its already amazing topography. Stroll around these geothermal wonders and soak in mineral-rich water. Options like skydiving, luggage, trekking, and mountain biking make it a must-see place for adventurous souls in New Zealand. Ritz Factor Geothermal wonders and red lava lines are dominant features of this tourist attraction in New Zealand. Don't miss Lady Knox Geyser, Champagne Pool, and Trout Fishing. How to reach By air, Wellington Airport, 450 kilometers, is well connected with major cities across the world. Intercity bus services and cabs are available from the airport to Rotorua. By road, coaches, shuttles, and taxis run in tandem from Auckland to Rotorua. The ride via road takes a good two and a half hours to reach Rotorua. Best time to visit, November through to April. Stay options, Millennium Hotel, Arista of Rotorua, Ridges Hotel, and Quest Hotel. Number two, Tongariro National Park. Towering volcanoes, untamed forests, arid plateaus, hot springs, grassy fields, turquoise lakes, and lush meadows set in melodramatic landscapes. Tongariro, one of the oldest national parks in the world and the best places to visit in New Zealand, is a land of stunning beauty and natural wonders. Add on a visit to Topu Lake and you're set to a surprisingly lovely day. Ritz Factor Mineral-rich turquoise water lakes and melodramatic sceneries. Don't miss Taranaki Falls and Lava Line of Volcanic Eruptions. How to reach. By air, Auckland, 345 kilometers, and Wellington, 288 kilometers, airports are the closest you can get to Tongariro National Park by air from major cities across the world. Book a cab or take a transport bus from the airport to reach Wakapapa Village, the gateway to Tongariro National Park. By road, regular buses operate from Auckland to Tongariro National Park daily. By road, it takes almost seven hours to reach the national park. Best time to visit, December through to February. Stay options, Adventure Lodge and Motel, Chateau Tongariro Hotel, Piper's Lodge, and National Park Tavern. Number one. Bay of Islands. One of the most popular tourist attractions in New Zealand, Bay of Islands is a haven for yachts and sailing boats. The pearls of 144 islands decorate the necklace of the Bay of Islands. Kayak along the coast, hike the island trails, enjoy the secluded coves and explore untouched forests. Abundant marine life, including dolphins, whales, big marlin and penguins, is a popular fishing spot. All of these together make the spot an ideal tourist destination in New Zealand. Ritz Factor, yachting and sailing spot. Don't miss Hole in the Rock, the famous rock formation. How to reach by air. Auckland Airport is well connected with major international cities. Air New Zealand flights operate in tandem from Auckland to Bay of Island Airport, which is also known as Kerikeri Keri Airport, by road. Bay of Islands is well connected with Auckland by road. Intercity buses and taxis operate from Auckland to Bay of Islands. The 193 kilometer distance takes three hours to cover by state highways. Best time to visit, February through to March. Stay options near Bay of Islands. Paradise on the Strand, Sea Spray Suites, Veronica House and Arcadia Lodge. What do you think is the best place on our list? Which one seems the nicest? Leave us a comment below and make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our future travel videos. With that, I'll see you in the next video.